Hey loves, so today I have a MAC haul for you guys, and seriously, can we like take a minute for the sweatshirt, oh donut even, and it matches my nails. I put it on this morning for a Starbucks run and I was like, is this meant to be? So today I have a MAC haul for you guys, and this is a lot of MAC, seriously. So there is a reason I have so much to show you, they actually ran a coupon code like a week ago when I'm filming this, but probably more than that by the time that you're watching this. And it was $10 off of a $50 purchase for Mac, and that's like a solid 20%. And Mac has never run a sale like that before, to the best of my knowledge. So I really took advantage of it. I placed a billion jillion orders and got some things I really, really, really wanted. One of these things is not from MacCosmetics.com. It is actually from Nordstrom because it is a Nordstrom exclusive. So we'll start off with that. And then everything else you can get on Mac's website. So keep your eye on their website because apparently Apparently they're doing sales now, which I'm not complaining. The first thing I have to show you is the MAC Neutrals palette, and this is a Nordstrom exclusive. It is some of MAC's best-selling shadows. So I'm going to go through the colors pretty quickly, but this is Vapor, and it is a Velux Pearl. It's just like a really pretty shimmery white. We have the shade Honey Lust. We have All That Glitters. We have the color Saddle and the color Mulch. So that's the first row of shades. So really, really pretty, warm, neutral colors. We have Rice Paper, which I've heard so much about. Amber Lights, which I do have in a single, but it is a beautiful color, so why not have it in this palette? We have the shade Woodwinked, and I've actually never seen Woodwinked in person. Um, it is like a really gorgeous bronzy golden brown wedge and brune, and this is like a really cool um, dark charcoaly brown. Then for the final row, we have the color Omega, we have Satin Taupe, Embark, Beauty Marked, and Carbon. Beauty Marked and Carbon. So I really don't have many MAC shadows. I bought one of the MAC Times 9 palettes, but other than that, I really like have maybe five single shadows to my name. And I don't know, this was a little bit more extensive, but I really thought it was kind of cool and I didn't have to go through and pick out all of the MAC shadows that I wanted. Pretty much every MAC shadow I've ever wanted to try is in this palette. So um, kind of expensive, kind of worth it if you want to treat yourself. So that is the first thing I got. Again, Nordstrom exclusive, so you'll want to shop that from Nordstrom. Then everything else here is from MAC, and I'm just going to pick at random. The first thing is MAC's Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. The reason I wanted this is because my friend Alexandra had it on her when we were traveling. We went to LA together, and she had this, and my skin was having not a reaction. Um, I had over exfoliated, and it was sort of like freaking out. So my skin was really dry, really sensitive, and Fix Plus was what I used every single day once my makeup was done to basically make my skin not burn and make my makeup look so much more natural and not catch on all of the dead flakes on my face. I know that sounds disgusting, but this was my lifesaver. So I really enjoyed, especially when I like paired this uh, spray, because this is just to make your makeup look more natural, to add some hydration to the skin. Meanwhile, Urban Decay All Nighter, like these finishing sprays, are made to make your makeup last. So I really like these paired together. I am so excited to finally have my own Fix Plus. Not a very cheap product, but totally worth it on sale. And the next thing I really wanted to try was also because of Alexandra. She's actually a MAC makeup artist, so she knows a lot of the products that are out and what's worth it and what's not. One of the things she said was totally worth it is the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, and I have this in the shade N42. I know that's really dark, but actually um, I'm using a new fake tanner and it's not nearly as dark as my usual one. I have a really hard time matching my normal one because it is so dark um, the first few days after I apply it. So I thought that this would be, number one, a great shade match for it, and number two, something that would be really great for my dry skin. So um, this is a fairly new foundation and it's actually kind of a small bottle for how much you pay, but I guess it is what it is. I'm really excited to see if it's worth the hype. If you guys want to see a first impressions um, or like demo of this, just let me know and I will do some sort of video with it. Or if you've already seen enough, you can just help me in. I'll just know. Speaking of face products, I also got Max Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is because of Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn uses this in legit every single video as her under eye concealer as well as her eyeshadow primer. And I was thinking to myself, what like a genius idea if a concealer is made for priming shadow to just use that and like cut out a middleman in your makeup routine. So I got this in the shade NW20. Um, because that's what she uses, I will be totally real with you guys. Even though NW20 is a little bit pinker, I think it'll be really good at covering up under eye circles and I'm not going to use it on blemish. 
delicious. So yes, that is what I got that for. Uh, it's like so teensy tiny for some reason. I always thought it was going to be huge. I feel like it's the weirdest thing when you've always seen products in other people's videos and then you get them yourself and you're like, what is this? A concealer for ants? Another thing I've always really wanted to try from MAC is the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. And I love my highlights. You guys know this. This is no secret. Highlights are bay. Highlights are my favorite part of my makeup routine. So the reason that I got Soft and Gentle is because sometimes I do feel like Light Scapade is a little bit too um, just stark white and a little bit too golden for my makeup. So I thought that Soft and Gentle would be more of a neutrally shade. This is almost like a pinky, bronzy perfectionness. Um, that is the swatch. It's gorgeous. I love this color so much. I cannot wait to play with this, especially for summer. I think this is going to be beautiful on my more tan skin tone because it'll just be like more of a subtle highlight and not so like wha-bam in your face. So I finally did something I wanted to do for a really long time and that is start my MAC blush palette. And I do have some MAC blushes that I plan on depotting and putting down here. I don't have many permanent MAC blushes, um, but I have like a few that I think are really going to fit well with this palette. But there are a few blushes I've always really, really wanted. A few blushes I've used because friends had them, but I've always thought, okay, well that's really expensive. So MAC has a system where you can get these products in pan form, and instead of being like 20 dollars or is it 22 now I really don't know they're only 17 dollars a pan and then you can get the palette to put them in and the palette is eight dollars and the divider is two so I got the palette and it's just a clear palette and a little blush divider so the blushes I got and I need to put these on the back I know them by heart right now but I know I'll forget this is Melba and this is like a really pretty um, is it matte? Is there like some sort of sheen? I really think it's like a true matte color. Melba is like a matte terracotta peachy shade and Jaclyn Hill uses this constantly. I feel like this is like the Hall of Jaclyn. So here is that blush right there. It's really beautiful. Then I have the shade Floor Power and Floor Power I have used because a friend owned it and I really 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 loved it on my skin tone. It is just a beautiful like shimmery hot pink color that I think would look good with almost every kind of look. It's, the shimmer is quite subtle. It's almost a fully matte blush, but it will add some sort of life to the cheeks. The last blush is something I've wanted to get for so long. One of my like closest friends wore this blush on the daily. We bought um, this blush for her and it was one of my very first MAC trips. I got myself Gingerly, and I used to wear a spring sheen every time that I came to her house, and she would always wear Gingerly, and we thought about like trading, but I don't know, she still liked it, so I finally got myself spring sheen, and it is just a gore, oh my god, I love this blush. It is the most gorgeous, shimmery, corally, perfection. I think this is the perfect summer blush of all time, and it kind of looks like something I already own, if we're being totally real. I think I have a NYX blush that's very similar to this, but I just don't care. This is going to add so much life to the cheeks. It's going to be so beautiful. So those are the MAC blushes that I wound up getting. So I have one pressed pigment, and this is in the shade Blonde Streak. I really wanted Summer Honey, but apparently that one was limited edition. Oh my god, I can't even get this thing open. I'm a really big fan of these like hardcore metallic shimmery um, platinum creamy gold colors. That is a lot of words and it's a very specific color but I thought this one would be really nice and it's a little bit different than any of the others that I have because it is so so metallic and honestly I'm not gonna lie to you guys pigmentation doesn't look the best but I plan on using this with like a glitter primer because it is so so glittery. I'm sure using a synthetic brush with this is going to be best, but I just imagined it making, even though it's going to be a little bit of maintenance, I think it's going to make a really beautiful um, color in the summer, especially when I use it wet and when I use it with glitter glue and stuff. I just think it's going to be amazing all over the lid. A very specific look in mind with like this, a like red brown cut crease, um, and then like a crap ton of lashes. I think it's going to be gorgeous. Okay, so I have two lip products to show you guys. This is a mineralized lipstick in Gotta Dash, and again, one of my like really close friends always used to wear this and I really loved it on her and I would always steal it and then it was one of those things where I never bought it. So Gotta Dash is a mineralized, um, no I'm so sorry, this is a Sheen Supreme lipstick and it's like a really gorgeous creamy peachy everything. It can be more opaque as you can see but if I just like, let me find a clean spot on my hand, bad day to wear a sweater. If I just like really lightly drag the color it can be much 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 more sheer and so I think it's going to be very versatile and I think I will be able to wear it in a lot of different ways. 
And actually, once I got that, I was thinking, I really don't have a lip liner to go with something like this because I've used this formula before. I know it really catches on dry patches and it tends to fade. So I wound up getting the lip liner in the shade In Sync, and I was really excited because this is like a true peachy, yellowy pink color, and I thought it would pair quite well with this sort of color. So it's very pale. Um, will give me a bit of a nude lip effect on its own, but I think it'll pair really nicely with this lipstick and a bunch of others that I own, so I just thought it was really unique, and I kind of thought I needed it in my life. I do not know when Mac started doing this. I really haven't shopped the website in, like, maybe a month or two, um, but they actually started releasing little minis that you can get with every single order, so I got a Prep and Prime sample, and I got two of these, and I just thought, you know what, if I like it, it'll be great for travel. These are .2 fluid ounces, and a normal primer is, like, just one ounce. Ounce, like one fluid ounce so between the two samples that I got this is like almost half of a normal primer for free so not complaining then the second thing that I got is a strobe cream and I really want to swatch this I did get two of these as well um, just because it made sense because I was already placing the order so I'm just gonna swatch this really quick it's like a really thin creamy white liquid and it does add you're not even gonna be able to see this on camera it adds a very subtle glow to the face it's not quite what I thought it would be which is like almost like this where it's really thick and like chunky I don't know what's happening outside my house that is it for my giant matte cosmetics haul and I know it was a lot but I still hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already and until next time my loves I will see you very soon bye